Welcome to the Alchemical Empress page. I'm your host, Nicola. First, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. This is a very new um, channel, and I'm just so grateful to see so many people interested in hearing about what I have to say about the Sibyls, the ancient mothers, and the, the rising of the divine feminine. Uh, it's been a beautiful, amazing ride seeing so many people engage with the videos. I want to say thank you so much for that. And continue to uh, engage, leave comments, share the material because so many people don't know this information. I didn't for a long time. I didn't. And I'm just learning it. And as I'm learning it, I'm sharing it. So please continue to share the information and uh, leave a comment so I can know what's resonating with you. And make sure to always hit that thumbs up button because to engage this in the algorithm is, an, uh, uh, is a thing that is necessary for us to continue to get our message across to everybody about how these African women basically laid the foundation for everything, but have been uh, neglected. They have been hidden. Their work has been hidden for, for centuries upon centuries at a time. And uh, the time is now that their stories are told. So thank you for every Sybil Rising. Uh, thank you for everyone who's been engaging and thank you for every divine mama out there that's supporting the channel. You are appreciated. Did you know that the ancient divine mothers built the first democracy on the planet? And that our government in the United States built our de declaration of independence on their concepts? So their advanced style of government would be known in modern times as the Lycian Confederacy and centuries later in the new world became the inspiration for Alexander Hamilton, John Jay and James Madison to praise them as an excellent Confederate Republic. In an ironic twist of historical events, the formation of America's democracy through the African, them, though the Africans themselves were enslaved. They employed this matriarchal African model of government as the perfect model of democracy when writing the Declaration of Independence. These African matriarchs were also the first to institute gold coinage and to build storefront shops, modeling after the Grand Lodge of Luxor ancient Egypt's great library, later renamed Alexander. The matriarchs, the matriarchs too had built one of the first libraries for developing intellectuals and students of the mysteries of the mystery schools. I am reading from Mama Zogby's work, The Sibyls, the first prophetess of Mami Wata. And I'm just enthralled to see how much information has been hidden and being revealed now about these beautiful African matriarchal women. Uh, everything that we need in order to uh, come back from a fallen world has been already laid before us by the ancients. And I believe that the ancients have been coming back to us and revealing themselves to many of us and awakening a lot of, a lot of us, the Sibyls uh, and, and those of us who are on this, um, this awakened train to, to, to promote and to talk about the divine feminine in this way. Uh, our, our job is to show that we have always had the groundwork for everything we need to have a good, a good loving, considerate and kind way of life in our uh, communities, in our government, in our governance. They were the ones to create maritime law. They were the ones who have a democracy. They were the ones that govern themselves so well, there were no need for jails. People could build homes without having the doors on them because people govern themselves accordingly. And we didn't have to worry about uh, people taking advantage of folks in that way because of the, the way that we governed ourselves in, that, in, in, in ancient times in that way. I had a dream last night. 
I don't remember all the details of the dream, but in this dream, I was pulling something from the waters. It was like a crimson river, uh, ribbon, and I was into wo- uh, in, uh, weaving it into uh, a whole a white slate, like a clear white slate. And what I was getting from that is there are those of us who have come back to help pull those pieces of things from the spirit that needs to be given to the younger people from uh, the, the ancient ways, some of the ancient information, so that when they begin to weave on the tapestry of new earth, they will have en- uh, enough of a strong foundation of information and insight on where to go. They will understand that their, their ways have already been laid down in such a way that uh, they don't have to walk into, into new earth lost. That's the first thing. And secondly, we have something re- to return back to. Uh, we have lived in the poison of the oppressor for so long, and we have learned the ways of the oppressor for so long as African people that we have forgotten our own way, that we have forgotten our own culture, our own ancient knowledge. Uh, we have forgotten who we were and who we are. And so it's important to come back into remembrance of who we were so that we can realize who we are and therefore be able to leave the wisdom to our young people of where to go. And so um, this is a time where I believe that all the elders that know that they are here for such a time as this to realize that they have something within them that is solid, that is spiritual, that is ancient, that is deep, that probably needs to be given to the young people while you have voice to give it to them. So that as they write on the new tapestry of new earth, that they will have a strong foundation of where they're going and know that we've already done this before. We have, we have governed ourselves without corruption We have laid laws that kept everything running the way it should on the planet. And we have not had to misuse and abuse the planet to do that or misuse and abuse people to do that. My problem is, as I'm looking at a lot of things on uh, that's going on online right now, you're seeing the fallout of P. Diddy and T.D. Jakes and uh, all types of corruption with uh, business and Hollywood and Oprah and Taraji and actors and this and that and the other. My issue is that when you see that these people who have run things for all this time with the utmost corruption um, have laid a a framework for a lot of people that's in the industry to govern themselves by, that this is not the way to go that it's time to look for a more integral way to go. Maybe that's why we needed to hear the voice of a Cat Williams speak in truth and loud and clear and in a way that is that was non-apologetic to anybody. He was like, just this is it, period. There you go. Um, We need to see that because we need to knock down the walls of what we've always known. If that's the way govern the, you know, they Hollywood governed themselves and these industries govern themselves. This is not the way we need to govern ourselves going forward. When everything resets, you don't want to take that trash into new earth. You don't want to take that that corrupt way of dealing with people into new earth. You don't want to take that corrupt way of seeing business and and uh, coming up and making a dollar in that way uh, in new into new earth. What's the point of going through a reset if that's all we're going to do is repeat the same nasty, vile things that have already uh, been an issue on this planet? That's why we came to reset the planet, because it's time for that level of corruption to be buried and never come back again. And we need to see a new way of thinking in the golden age. And so when you're doing business, you want to try to be on the up and up. And if you have to deal with corrupt people, you might want to 
deal with corrupt people in a, in a way that you use your uh, your powers in a different way. Use your use your spiritual powers in a different way. Use your your divine help in a different way so that you can reset what's already the narrative going forward. So we don't want to continue the, the 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 to progress in corruption when the whole world is going through a, a reset to release corruption. We want to think differently. Think outside the box. If Hollywood has always used these nasty tactics of getting people to do what they want them to do, what does it look like to operate in integrity and to build your own thing with a deep sense of integrity that people see and deal with things completely different than everything that's been out there before? You know, we have we have a blueprint. That's what I'm trying to say. Our founding mothers who were the blueprint for these founding fathers who took their words and their concepts and corrupted them, those women knew the way and they did it well. And we have the blueprint. They're coming back trying to tell us who we were so we can know where we're going, to know that this has been done before, to know that we have the power within to govern ourselves accordingly that we have the power within to run this planet in a way that does not mean that we have to operate out of greed and corruption all the time. They laid the framework for all that we see. They laid the framework and they told us how to be. So let's govern ourselves in a different way going forward as we write on the tapestry of new earth using ancient integrity. Remember these founding mothers, remember these beautiful sibyls, these prophetess that came on this planet and showed us the way. They've come back to show us the way. They have come back to show us we have a blueprint. They have come back to show us that we can do this a different way. Let's lean in a little bit and listen to what they have to say. Until we meet again, family, I'm wishing you peace, love, and high vibrations. And thank you so much again for subscribing to this channel.